say a few. Now, when you were booking this, there were a couple of options, weren't there? There was the option for you to have a sketch that's more with traditional things, like uh, with pencils, so to be sketched like out with pencils, and you have your portrait in a, in a pencil sketch, black and white. Or there was another option as well, something you probably haven't had it quite like this before. It's a bit different experience, and that's with film. Depends, so we introduce a lot more color, and we get to really delve into the subtle colors and features your face has. And as I can tell, really, we can have a lot of fun with that. You just have one of those faces. So you've done one of these before, a sketching portrait. You've been to quite a few. That's great, so you're well versed in the protocol, as in you can just sit there as contently and happy and as comfy and relaxing as possible whilst I work around you and draw you and I'll be doing it with a medium of your choice. Okay, so like I said, I can do it with pencils and that's usually the, the average way that people would like to be sketched and drawn but if we use the color just looking at you now I don't know what it is but I think you have a special feature which will allow me to really highlight what I see in you and I see through people and I can see a lot of you that will come out and be conveyed really well on paper and then of course if you're happy with the sketch and you want it, it's yours to take as well. So this is a bit of uh, an experience thing which I like to offer and I promise you it'll be fun and you'll be nice and relaxed but also you'll get a nice sketch of it at the end. Okay, so what is it you personally opt for? Is it the pencils or is it the felt dip pens? or marker pens you might call them. Sure, I can show you. Now, don't laugh at me at this because this is part of the creative process, but we, or I should I say, am able to create these drawings with Crayola felt dip pens. Now, these felt dip pens have the traditional, you know, board colors, but utilized properly, I'll really be able to make you pop on the page. But these are more for the highlights. Of course we got one of our primary and secondary colors there as well. But to get into all the finer details, then it gets a little bit more professional. And sketching you is a complicated profession. And we have different array of colors here and subtle tonal differences. So I can capture all of those nuances in your skin color, that little smile you've got there, the eyes which to me just are beaming with knowledge and wisdom and that can be conveyed with the felt tips and how you present yourself to me you know you may not think it i can see it and then pick out all the different highlights there as well so, Just take a look there. So you can see on the ball point on the tip there, it isn't too thick, but it isn't too thin as well. So we can get a really nice, precise picture of you and get all the 
the detail in there as well. And then contrast with that. Let's get my favorite color out here, blue. And will you be able to use that? A Prussian bullet blue is a good shading blue. And sometimes I'll be able to utilize the blues to create the shades. So this is a slightly thicker felt dip in here. But this will really delve into those highlights. Okay. So we got a lot to work with today. But I'm quietly confident that we're going to really create something special for you today. So is it the felt tip pins that you... I thought so. That's great. Right. So we'll get you started. Now, rules are... There are no rules. So you can just feel free to relax. Try to just keep a nice, steady face towards me. And if I instruct you to do something like just move your face slightly to the right, perhaps look at the light that I have there, that's your key light. So I'll be using this light to really shine down as your key light so I can get all the features on your face there. But contrast that to the other side, we get some really nice shadows in there, which I'm quite sure will pick up and really come out nicely. So, that light isn't too bright for you, is it? It's right. It's just to really capture your photogenic featured face. Okay. So, if you want nice relax, if you have any questions, want me to stop for any reason, you can. You don't need to sit there all nice and still. But, between you and me, a lot of people find this process quite relaxing. I've had someone nod off before a long time ago and they were having a sketch done and I was working around them and I think they found the sounds nice and relaxing because it is relaxing. So if you feel like you're heading to that point by that time, I'm pretty sure I would have captured your eyes open. So don't feel bad if that happens to you as well. I mean, it's just in case. Okay. So I'll work around you quite happily uh, if you are going to doze off or anything like that. So don't you worry about that. Okay. Right. So this is what I use. And there'll be a lot of sort of going close up and just have a look at you. Close up and have a look at you. And then sketching away here. So I'll show you it, of course, as soon as I finish, but try to keep it a little bit of a surprise for you. So it gives you an opportunity to relax and just enjoy the process. Okay. So you sure that light's okay for you? It's okay, so not in your eyes at all. Perfect. as much as I see fit as I don't want you to be having to listen to me all the time. So I'll be moving from your left side to your right side and just sketching away here on my pad. So you just start to relax now and I'll talk you through bits which you might be interested in but you don't have to listen to me of course. Okay, so I'm going to begin with black. This is just getting the outline of your face. Okay. 
desires and wisdom and kindness and fearlessness.
what it is about you, but there's something different to my normal clients that you have. You have a very unique sort of look, and it's like something is on your mind, and that's a good thing, of course. It's good to think about these things which are on our minds, um, but for that, I wanted to make sure that's being conveyed in this wise, positive manner, so I can get that emotion which I'm seeing with you, and capture it, and then you'll be able to see what I see. That's the beauty of sketching and drawing, is that I'm able to give to you something which I see in you, and that's what's good when someone's there trying to get to understand you, what you're about, by your looks, and see the beauty within, and like I said, I see plenty of it. deciding what sort of final colors I'm going to use and this is really going to bring the color and make your face pop quite a lot um, so like I said this is going to be quite colorful it's going to really make your personality come through so I want to make sure that these colors are going to be as close 
so far it looks really good and on the paper too and I want to make sure that it's not going to take away that that emotion which I see in you right now even though it looks a little bit relaxed okay that's enough thinking for me so with some sketches portrait artists they really go quite quickly but for me I really like to sit here and make my client feel comfortable so once they've reached that point of feeling comfortable and content with the procedure not procedure but the process then it's a lot easier for me as an artist to really start to see those little things which other people might not see, you might not even see. The little bit of character traits that you might have just by speaking, looking. What I could see in your face. And that's what I'm using. So you've got really great hair at the moment, so I like him with certain patterns I'm using to help bring that across on the paper. Like we're capturing quite a lot of 
detail in it, which is good. And like I said, with the different artists and things, some like to go really fast, and I believe that's good. But if you want something a little bit more serious and a bit more time that's been put into it, then sitting down like you're doing now and spending the time to allow the artist to get to know you a bit and to be in close proximity with you and not only is that relaxing for you but it's really a great process for an artist and a client to collaborate together because that's effectively what this is we're collaborating right now One shadowing, sort of putting some contours in there around your face as you can see around there, a little key light coming across the shadows and just touching you around the face there, it's gently touching your skin and creating this beautiful shadow around there. So I'm using straight up black dark colour here. Just to get those. Deep within 
and a color if you just really focus in close your eyes if it's not closed already and if you can just think of a color which the first thing which comes to your head tell me so that's what your subconscious mind wants so we'll go for that okay and that's the color which i'm going to use on the background of this portrait and this is going to bring that final bit of emotion to it Wouldn't you say? But 
I think it perfectly captures, encapsulates all your amazing features and all the best parts in which I see in you. So, with your eyes as well, so much was going on there. Your eyes, there was so much emotion and things happening there. So for that, I used this sort of orange color here, and just little elements of blue and green mixed in there. But I used that for highlighting with the yellow on the tops there. And that's just to convey the light shining down, so it gives you this real sort of wise look, but something's happening there. And we've sort of highlighted all the dark side on your face there, quite literally the dark side, and put you in an environment you said your background color was red and orange. And I was working a lot with red and orange colors to really help your character just pop. And then we finished it off with this really nice black background here. And this is quite an impressionist uh, picture here using colors, but I think from my high ground up here where I was looking down at you and seeing those shadows there, that uh, you might have underestimated uh, my power to use the sort of orange colors a little bit and we've come out with something really great. So I hope that you like your portrait and what you feel about it. That's so great, thank you so much. Well, your hair, like I said, looks so great. The expression in your eyes, your cheekbones along here, and the contours and the shadows, it just all came together. And we used the perfect colors red. So the beauty of felt it bends, and these felt it bends, you keep sort of adding layers, almost like paint, but just tiny little bits of detail. And so we've got this really nice orange wash on it. And I think this shows you extremely well. That's okay, so why don't I pop that there for you today? Okay. So I really hope that you enjoyed your drawing felt dip sketching experience today. It really was a pleasure to be here with you and to relax together, get to know one another and just be able to create something artistic for you to keep. It's a keepsake, something for you to look at yourself and feel proud and good every time you see it. And also relax. Remember this relaxing experience which we've had here today because it's not just the portrait or the artist. It's all about you and you to feel good whilst I have the privilege to draw you and for you to relax whilst I once again have the privilege to draw you. Okay, so my name is Fred. Thank you so much for coming to see me today. Really hope that you enjoy your sketch.